Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 2.1.7, which I'm calling Better Plots, Better Pathing. And that name is right on the nose. Uh, it covers exactly what it is I changed in this patch, which is to improve the plots so that we can have better pathing. I'll start off by apologizing for the raspiness of my voice. I'm coming off of a pretty bad cold. Uh, so my only goal here is to get through without coughing into the microphone and blowing out some eardrums. So if we can do that, we'll have a win for the day. Um, so let's talk about what we've changed with the plots. So aside from improving the snap points, uh, which is something that has definitely happened here, they should snap together much nicer. Uh, the most important change is that I discovered a new type of collision called Phantom Collision, and I have applied it to all of the foundationless plots. So what Phantom Collision is, uh, it solves an issue with these, especially with agricultural plots, um, but it allows you to walk through the collision. So the collision is necessary for two reasons. One, it allows you to interact with things in workshop mode, and it also allows things to snap together with snap points. Uh, and phantom collision solves the problem of having this invisible barrier that would block you and it would block the NPCs from pathing. Um, so not only does it help a lot with plots like the agricultural where you have this kind of invisible barrier over the edge, but it also helps if you have any buildings that don't have floors. I know some of the add-on packs have opted to not put floors on their buildings so that you could, as the player, decide what the bottom of your building looked like. Uh, and that resulted in settlers kind of floating in midair a few inches, which looked really unimmersive and awful. And so this phantom collision helps with that. So that's been applied to all of those plots. So you should see not only improved snapping, um, but improved navigation and no more floating settlers. So that's the first big improvement that came to plots. Now, the second one came about from a conversation I had with Zawanel, who is the uh, mod author of Horizon, which if you haven't checked that out, you definitely should. It's a very, very cool mod that adds a lot of depth to the game. Uh, but uh, he was playing around with some new methods of navigation, and he discovered something that he thought might help with some settlements. So uh, I tried out his method on this Max Shack. That is the building that gets the most complaints, I think, about how settlers interact with it. So I'm going to show you how the changes affect this building. Now I've only applied it to Max Shack in case that there are some consequences maybe of this new method that I hadn't considered or that the testers didn't discover. So I want to get the feedback from the community about how this new method works. Uh, and once I get enough thumbs up on it working well, I will go through and implement it on the other multi-story buildings so that they can enjoy this new pathing. So in the current version that you guys already have before this, before this patch, you could get your settlers to come into the first floor of Max Shack. And then after that, that's kind of where things break down. Now, part of it is because of the design of the building itself. With having the stairs go this close to the wall, it's definitely a problem. It might require me to actually redesign the building. Uh, but even aside from that, the settlers generally wouldn't go past the edge of the stairs here. So uh, I'm going to get him to get up here. He might teleport. Um, that is, again, that's due to the building design, not this navigation issue we're talking about. So I'm going to get him to here, and then I'll show you what exactly has changed and what has been presum presumably fixed uh, with this new method. Sorry, let's get this guy to teleport. Come on, buddy. There you go. Um, so that has to do with the building design, the teleporting. Uh, obviously, I want to fix, and I will get there. Uh, but what I want to show you is the fact that the settler now can actually walk around on this second floor, which um, if you've ever tried manually commanding settlers in two-story sim settlements buildings, it just doesn't work. Um, and that's a known issue. It has been since the release. So um, this is going on... Uh, you know, eight months of this issue. So it's just a long standing thing I've been wanting to fix and now I finally have a method. So the fact that the settler can walk right next to the bed means at bare minimum, your settler will be able to teleport uh, into bed, which is a huge first step. So, um, but the fact that they, I can manually command them around in the second floor gives me a lot of hope that this method is going to be the solution to sim settlement multi-story buildings. Um, so if you guys have the Max Shack building, um, if you want to check out at night, if your settlers are popping up there to go to sleep, that would be uh, very helpful for me to know. Uh, so far in testing, it has been working well. Uh, and if you're an add-on author and you have some two-story buildings that you want to test out this new method for, uh, definitely give me a poke on the uh, Discord server and I'd be happy to show you how to test it out. 
uh, maybe uh, together we can come up with uh, the solutions to get this method working perfectly across all our buildings. So ultimately the goal is to make it so that some settlements buildings work just as well, if not better than anything you construct manually as far as pathing goes. Uh, so uh, continue to report those issues. Now I have a lead on what the problem was before and how to fix it. Um, so getting reports of those navigation issues will be helpful. I know there have been a few of you who've been very good about reporting those and thank you for hammering me on that. Um, it's not an issue I wanted to let die. Uh, and now that uh, I finally got some new information to work from, I am going to pursue getting that fixed again for you guys. All right, so uh, as usual, definitely read the patch notes. There are a lot of changes in this one that are minor, not worth mentioning on the patch notes video, but may affect you. So definitely give those a read uh, to see all that's changed. I am going to commence with the bi-weekly patches until the next expansion comes out, which is getting closer and closer. Uh, in fact, I hope to have... Uh, a date chosen and announced before the next actual patch comes out, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but guys, as always, uh, take care and enjoy the mod.